Welcome to part two of our time in Taupo, New Zealand. If you like this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're checking out some epic bush camps, having a few cocktails, but before all that, I must do in Taupo with Ernest Kemp Cruises. Ready? Hi. So um, we've just um, done the Ernest Kemp cruise to the uh, Maori carving, and it was awesome. Really good. Just really a, good. It was a nice, just meander down the lake. Tea and coffee, biscuits as well included. Yeah, the team were really, really good. Danny, Matthew, in fact, everybody we've dealt with, AD, Catherine, they've all just been amazing. The Ernest Kemp cruise, and I think it's like, what, 45, 50 bucks each. It's so worth it, isn't it? Really nice. Yeah. Um, and when you get to the Māori carving, I can't remember the um, actual name or the pronunciation, um, it's so, um, it's like, wow, isn't it? It is. It's yeah. like, wow, it's a little bit emotional as well. Um, so that was really good. Totally recommend when you come to Talpur. We're just going for, guess what? A curry. We're literally starting to smell like curry. The van smells like curry. Just can't get enough of it though. Can't get enough of it. Um, and then we might go to a place called The Vine for some cocktails. Maybe. Maybe, because we never go out. No. Um, so yeah, we're boring bums. We're old men. Right, I'm just gonna put everything on. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, but yours is so much nicer. <laughs> what you making for me? Is that nice? It's yummy. Chili margaritas. Chili margaritas. So we've never really had the lamb in the cook margaritas before, have we? Before tonight. Well, we. Oh yeah, we have. Just not chili ago. margaritas. Oh yeah. So I'm actually using our blend blender, jet. portable blender. So what I did with mine, I put the lime juice in first. I'm gonna squeeze a of this in. Mmm. About that much. And this is Tom measures, so I'm just like. I'm not actually measuring anything. So Tom has something called Tom Time as well that I've now got used to, and also Tom Measures. Yeah. Tom Measures are more fun than Tom Time. So this is um, tequila. That's about enough of that. Put the lamb in the cooker, the 
I think they're quite strong. Mine is. Midnight margaritas. So this one is triple sec. We do not condone alcohol. So this is um, an orange liqueur. I'm really thirsty. So you can put, um, it says to put um, sugar syrup with it, but we don't have any. We've got sweeteners. So I just put <laughs> about two of these sweeteners in. If this doesn't work, I might just try the honey after. Oh yeah, a bit of um, Mordor and then whilst we're waiting. A bit of soda water because we don't have ice. No. Then, oh, Tabasco sauce mm. and the, um, chili side of it. Favourite. Yum yum. Yum yum. And Mmm, shake it as well as if you're in a bar. <laughs> no, shake the, the thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and then with the glass, I just I've got some water here. So I just we don't it. have any to, um, cocktail glasses. Wet to the rim. Wet to the rim. And then I just um, get the rim dirty. Okay. So what's that now? A salty and chilli rim. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> and then oh look it's smoking. Okay, hurry up, come on, I'm thirsty baby, I'm thirsty. And then this is your three margarita with a wedge of cucumber. Cucumber? Yeah, that's all we've got. What's it like? I think that's making some dinner. What are you making? I'm making, so see a very large courgette. Cut some of that up, I'm gonna fry it. No, I'm gonna boil it, then fry it. Some plant-based sausages. We got a load of cheap salad from Pack and Save. And some pasta and um, some tomatoes. Ah, a bit of a medley of, then. Maybe a load of paprika, I don't really know. Yeah. yeah. Should be nice though. Bit of everything. Yeah. Sounds good. And we're just, it's just, oh God, it's raining. It's raining. Yeah, on, and off, on and off all day. Um, but t tomorrow's looking better. And so is the rest of the week. And this is the end result. Yummy. Nothing better in the morning than a swimming, freezing water. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. We're just um, waking up at Fakaipo Bay. It's our last morning here. Spent about six, six nights, I think, in total. It's been so nice. So nice to relax. And today is a stunner. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. Just have a do a few more things around Taupo and then head head off. There's another dock camp we might head to. It's been lovely, hasn't it? Yeah, really good camp spot. Really chilled. And as you can see, it, I mean, it's huge. It just goes on down the lake. I think there's about 50 caravans here um, and there's plenty of space for everyone, which is nice. Nice to spread out, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if we should have gone in here. <laughs> oh my. Oh, maybe at the top there would be good. Or, again, they just need to put out a sign, don't they? Oh yeah, this is better. no matter what, aren't we? Is it? 
The Atumahiki stream hot pools are free to everyone and a great place to soak in the healing mineral waters. road to get to it through thick forest um, bit of a hairy road quite narrow and windy isn't it yeah and tires slippery as well but the tires are performing so well we think there's like there might be a hunting thing going on because there's loads of people parked up in use in the bush but um, we've only passed a couple of people and everybody's driving really well aren't they so. Yeah, I think this forest is um, popular for walking and hunting, so yeah. Um, yeah, it should be good. Like now, for example, if we came up against another sprinter, it'd be really, really yeah. tight. I don't like here, we wouldn't get through. No. So it'd be interesting to know who's come down here and what sort of rig. There's not really much information on these campsites at all. There's like four of them. No. Um, and yeah, so we've just... So we'll get all the information. We'll be the guinea pigs. Know. Yeah. So we're all set up now at um, Clements Clearing Campsite, dot camp. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's no phone signal, it's in the bush. It's very quiet. A couple of other people here. And this is in the Kaim, Kaimanawa Forest. Forest. Sorry if I've said that wrong. Just like 40 minutes um, east of Taupor. Yeah. But um, we actually saw Matey who we met at um, where did we stay in Talpore? What was it called? Fakapur Bay. Fakapur Bay. But we met a um, matey boy there and he's in like a four berth um, off-road caravan and he got down here fine, um, yeah, didn't he? it's doable, but it's just um, very narrow. And windy and yeah. a bit slippery. Um, but we are um, going to have a fire tonight. Tom's just setting up and we've not had one for ages. And I was like, oh, should we get some firewood before we leave Talpore? And Tom's like, nah, there might not even be fire pits. There's fire pits. So Tom went off foraging for firewood earlier. For about 20 minutes. Didn't get really anything. And then when I was clearing out the fire pit, I lifted it back this metal thing, which Tom's now made into like a Lord of the Rings type castle. And somebody very kind has left all their firewood. All of this. <laughs> so that'll keep us warm tonight. Yeah. So Tom's just chopping some bits up to make um, some smaller bits. But um, what date is it today? The 20... Uh, I don't know. 23rd of April? Yeah. 24th of April. So if anybody's watching this who stayed here just before us and left all this um, firewood, thank you very much. You're keeping us warm. And we get to warm. use our new wax. We we'll get to use cool. our new wax Have as well. <laughs>
Much cool, that thing. <laughs> Big pot of fans. So I just thought I'd go for a little jog this morning and there's a nice track right beside the campsite and it comes up into all of the pine forest, really nice, so quiet. <laughs> 